Hello, welcome pen friends. I am so excited because I have a pen case review for you today and I've really been wanting to do this for a couple of months actually. Um, got the new camera, got a new microphone now, so there's been some things that held me back. Um, plus we tore up our kitchen, but today I'm reviewing the Levenger, um, let me see if I can get the name right, bomber jacket pen case okay it has you know it has that long name but it, it holds seven fountain pens and it is something that i just i fell in love with it by from watching it on sherry zek's channel she has a, a fountain pen channel and the title of the video was pen cases not storage so she was talking to us about uh how uh we ought to look at pen cases as uh, cases to put our, our pens that we're using in versus uh, just to store them in, you know. And, and I get that. I actually, you know, that's something I have to <laughs> kind of get into my mind, I think. I think it's important. But uh, ever since I saw this case on her channel, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And we are going to go over to the desk and look at it very in much in detail. And uh, that's the other reason I'm so excited, because I haven't been able to do that with my old camera. I, I couldn't, there were things I couldn't do. And I, I was sitting on the couch last night and I started trying it out um, and I could do these things that I wanted to do so that I could bring you both shots without having to, anyway, I don't have uh, certain things. And I have this camera, that's what I have. So, um, so I, I bought the pen case 33% off and for my birthday with birthday money. And I was really excited because it was a whole year that had passed since I first saw it. And I never got it out of my mind. I, I went back to her video and watched that video probably three times thinking to myself, should I just, you know, should I get one? Should I just, you know, kind of like use channel money? Should I save my money up? But something else always got to me first. And I'm so happy with my uh, Knox Sinclair and my rickshaw pen, uh, uh, pen koozie that holds eight. You know, I, I had this area covered, but when it came to buying myself a special birthday present and the fact that uh, when I did pop on to check and see if they still had them, they were having the 33% off, that did it. That, that brought it down into my price range for my birthday money at the moment. So I think even though I'm really enjoying being in here in my uh, library room because I can close the door and you guys don't hear the TV. <laughs> um, this will be a great place to do book reviews, but uh, we're going to move over to the pen desk because that's where I have, a, you know, a good bracket where I can then show you this and we'll do some comparisons. I'll show you what I have in it now and uh, kind of breaking Sherry's rule, don't tell her, but uh, then I'll, I'll explain to you the, the pros and cons because I could not find another standalone review of, of this pen case. And I think it's really important to put out there um, as and do the best I can. So that's why I'm here. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, here we are at the pen desk. Uh, I can see a problem right off the bat. This case is actually a nice dark brown. And when they call it a bomber jacket, it's, it does. It makes me think of the brown that the pilots used to wear. Um, so it's difficult because I see that. I'm going to have to link you to uh, Levenger site where you'll probably you'll get a much better color. That's too bad. I fiddled around. I tried to fix it, but I can't figure out how to make it come out uh, not looking black. So <laughs> this one is not black. It's, it's dark brown. So it's got a... Uh, zipper with two zipper pulls on it and it's got the the side stitching here in the front and the back and it has levenger um, imprinted on the back i think you could do a personalization if i'm not mistaken but um, i didn't do that so you just uh, you open it up and then it has inside uh, seven pen slots three on this side and four on this side and what I have in here right now is, uh, oh dear, I'm using it for pen storage just at the moment, but it's because I'm dashing down the highway like usual. And I've got uh, some of my most favorite pens in it actually right now, the, the Heinz Blue Storm Custom that I won from Larry's Fountain Pens. Um, the holes or the pen slots on this side are much more uh, girthy than on the other side. So that's something we'll be talking about. And then um, my 
pilot vanishing point. And uh, let's see, the pen that usually goes here is the uh, Lamy 2000, the real one. You know, we say that now because I'm I'm so entranced, uh, enchanted with the uh, Jin Hao 80s, which are lookalikes. But and on this other side, I have the um, a platinum 3776. It does quite. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't go down below the pen um, uh, cap. And then the uh, the Jin Hao 80s fit in really nicely. Um, they go in and the pen goes all the way to the bottom. You know, like, you know how you check your shoe to make sure your toe is there? <laughs> they definitely do. And then we'll, I've got a few more pens that we can um, mess around with to see. I've got all my currently inked ones and uh, a couple of retro... Fit, uh, yeah, retro 51s. Um, and then, of course, the Jin Hao 80s. And then this is the Mont Blanc. Uh, one. Wait. I get mixed up. 145? Oh, dear. I cannot even remember. The little one. The Meisterstuck Classique with a medium nib that was sent by pen friend Wayne um, years ago. And I like it in here. Um, but my goal is not to use this as uh, pen storage. But, I mean, to use it as pen storage. Uh, case, not storage. So, but these are not inked up. And so, um, anyway, I'm just showing you, this is the reality right now. And then in the middle, I'm holding this because I'm not, I don't like how this camera is acting, but uh, the, it has a zipper pouch in the middle, which is real handy. I can imagine for cartridges or whatever. I don't have anything in it right now. And it also doubles as a protectant for your pens. Um, it actually, it goes at least to that point to the last ones, and uh, I, I felt like it was really nice in there. So um, let's go ahead and try like a couple of pens, like I wanted to show you on that, like the Twisby Eco. Okay, so we can actually put that in there. It just doesn't go down uh, to the bottom. <sighs> I'm gonna have to look and see what's going on here. Okay, I guess it's just bothering me, but there's not much I can do about that. Um, it's hard for me to see, and it looks all crooked, but I hope it's not that bad, really, <laughs> as it looks to me. Um, so the, the Twisby Eco does fit. It just doesn't push all the way down, which I don't think that really bothers me too much. And then a pen's like the Retro 51, definitely. No problem there. They'll fit. They'll, they go all the way down. They do pre pass the shoe test there. Um, let's see, and then this is the, the Rollerball 51. I would just turn that sideways. Actually, let's try it with this one. Do that. Yeah, that'd probably be better because you, you don't need to be clipping it, I don't think. Um, let's see what else I have inked up that we could just try because that's the best test. Um, okay, so here's a Lamy um, All-Star. It gets a little iffy there, see? doesn't go all the way down and it doesn't really fit past the cap and I find that with several pens uh, but we'll talk about that after that's one of the things that you know falls under that I'm not crazy about part of it okay and like I said the <laughs> same with the real the Lamy 2000 fits in now that's a little tiny bit girthier than the 80 so maybe I'm telling fib yeah no I want it on this side this side is much um, bigger the uh, opening is, you know, the pen slot is bigger. Good grief. I don't know where my English is today. Um, let's see. And now we have a really big one we can try, the Opus 88 Omar. <clears throat> let's see. Put that there. Yeah, goes right in. Clip sideways, real secure. I love it. And I love the fact that this is nice and wide, that it, it accommodates whatever pens you put in there. So that's a good thing. Um... Jin Hao uh, X750. Let's try that on both sides. Okay, that goes right in. That's not a real problem because uh, I can see, yeah, it even goes past the cap band. Um, I guess that's what they call it. Yeah, so it goes right in. That's cool. And over here, I know there'll be no problem. And, you know, you're not having to worry if it's a little bit loose because you are going to zip it. You can zip it closed and you won't need to worry. So, I, I mean, I do love this pen case. Um, let's see here. We have a lot of pen cases to kind of compare it to or to talk about. 
but I want to make sure I'm getting in what I wanted to say. I have some measurements. It is, uh, well, it's seven and a half inches uh, wide and four and a quarter this way and one and a half, uh, you know, of the width is the width, excuse me. Okay. Um, and this, this is something interesting. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you well. The inside where you put your pen, it, your, your pen will be up against the fabric, not the leather. And I like that. I think that's a good thing. So, um, but it's, you know, it's stitched in there. Very difficult for me to show you that, but it is. It's, it is the fabric, this plaid fabric that's up against it. And I, I like the fabric. Um, so, let me see. I think what we'll do now, this kind of covers, you know, long pens. This pen is like six inches. And then the girthy pen that we tried in there, and it fits real good on this side. Um, the, I mean, the Opus 88, it, it doesn't get a lot bigger, except maybe, let me grab a Jin Hao 159. I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I don't think it's going to fit over here. No, no dice over here on the four pen side. But over here, let's find out. I don't think I've tried it yet, but here we go. Yeah, it'll fit right in. So your your Mont Blanc <laughs> or your one or your Gen Hal 159 will fit in here, I believe. I don't think this is much smaller than the actual Mont Blanc. I shouldn't speak on something I do not know, have never touched one. But uh, that's kind of nice. Fits right in. Let's see. It seems like it went in better that way. Wiggle, wiggle. Goes right in. And then, um, you know, of course you... It accommodates it. I, I don't feel, I feel there's even extra. You can feel the extra. So it, it is, I mean, it just takes just a little bit, I think, of thinking uh, about making sure you're not planning to put really wide pens on this side. But let's look at a couple of comparisons because that's, that's the thing I enjoy the most about anything is the fact that I can show you, um, you know, in every price point, something else that you could use to hold your pens, which I think is great and wonderful. So let's start real simple. Um, you could make one. You could go ahead and get uh, pot holders for a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree, and you could. Uh, you don't even have to put the uh, snaps, but Pen Friend Penny put the snaps, and I think it's awesome, amazing. Oh, I think it was Pen Friend Penny. I better go and, and check before I make that. Oh, dear. So much generosity. So many people doing so many neat things for me over the years. I get a little bit scrambled. But this is the one that says stay positive, And it's a four pen case. Um, and I'm going to learn how to put these little uh, snaps in because I think that's just fantastic. Right now I have all four of the school pens that I'm studying. The Schneider Ray, the... the um, Pelican Twist, the Fabric Castile Grip, and the um, Pelican Pelicano in here because I thought that's cool. I'm using them, uh, tr testing them, continuing on with the project. So then, um, let's see. Well, this is a new purchase and I'm going to review it. This is actually a Maxpedition. Um, it's a mini, I think. Anyway, we'll save the details for a review, but what I found was I didn't have any place to put my smaller metal pens. So this is a, to me, this was pretty budget friendly, $20, $25 range, and it holds my uh, little traveler's brass pens. I didn't want them to fall out. It has a lot more room, too, back behind here. Whoops, I've, I have a little, I think this is going to be a gift, so I shouldn't be pulling that out. Okay, so this is an option, too. And it has a zipper. Whoops, and it works real good, but I'm clumsy. And then my favorites are, you know, they're the uh, rickshaw, the um, pe uh, pen koozie. I, I get mixed up. This is a koozie because this doesn't have the flap. The flapped one is a roll. and But this rolls up, and you it accommodates eight pens. And... Um, Wonderful. So it's a different material. It's not leather. So because there's people looking for not leather and people looking for leather. And then this is a, a Noc Tallulah that I love. It's a really slim case that you can stuff unbelievably stuff. Right now it's not stuffed. It's got an old ruler in it. But it, you know, I put two pens over here and then I put a whole bunch of like pencils and pens and things on this side. So this one is one I have reviewed. I'll link that for you. 
Um, oh my goodness, I forgot to show you this, uh, this Levenger uh, pen case comes in a beautiful box. So it makes a, a perfect gift. I mean, it's a really nice box that it comes in. That's not a selling point per se, unless you are, um, you know, buying it as a gift. And then, yes, I think it's wonderful when you can, you can give such a beautiful gift with a box. Oh, I apologize. That should have been the first thing I showed you, the packaging. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so then, um, okay, and here's another homemade one. Um, and I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm just drawing a blank and I knew exactly. I thought, I don't have to write this down. I know she loves pink uh, and is very active on Larry's channel. And I'm going to think of her name and made this. And I, I won this in a, a drawing too, but we also exchanged some letters. So this is a two pen holder that you could sew or, or uh, purchase from somebody who sews. And then... Um, you could also get, this is another non-leather option, a Keiko, and this is a 10-pen um, case that has become the new, uh, oops, storage. I hope Sherry's not watching this. <laughs> um, storage for my Opus 88s that are not in use. And I just thought the other day, my goodness, I only have one inked up right now or two. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, I do like having them safe and secure. And this is a, a budget pen case. This was like $20. So it's a wonderful option. Um, I'm not trying to say don't get this one. Uh, I'm just saying there are a lot of options. And, and right now, um, I, you know, I wouldn't be repurchasing this right now because of funds. But okay, then there is um, the Galen leather option. And this one is really pretty. Um, this is nice because it has uh, 10. And so like that, that actually would hold my currently inked eight plus whatever else might happen during the month. But right now I have my Cavecos and my other um, small pens that are not metal. They're the ones that'll fit in here. The smaller metal pens, I put them in that Maxpedition. There are just all kinds of choices. Probably the one that has stolen my heart right now the most is the Rickshaw Knox, uh, the Sinclair R that Rickshaw is producing in um, cooperation in uh, like uh, what is that word? Um, collaboration with Knock Company. And these are last month's. <clears throat> and so that I'm still running dry. I just don't want to, I don't want to empty them out. So I'm con continuing to write with them. And then these are this month's minus the children's pen. So this is an orange one. The other one was the purple splatter. So, you know, you actually kind of moved out some of the pens out of here because I'm using them other places. But... Okay, so those are comparisons. Now, I think I should talk a bit about, um, you know, what I like and don't like, and also uh, who, who I think might um, like this case. So first off on, my, um, on the side of what I really like is it's beautiful. I mean, I fell for it just looking at it on, and as Sherry was filming outside and I'm sure I could see the brown. It's too bad this is looking black. It, it really frustrates me awfully, but um, it's beautiful and it feels soft and luxurious and beautiful. Um, it offers what I would say is great pen protection. It's, they're not gonna fall out and they're not gonna rub together. There's enough separation, I think. Um, Oh dear, I'm feeling jinxed. Before I could even start in my library room, I had to change the light bulbs and, <laughs> and it turned into a little bit bigger job with both Manuel and I uh, you know, trying to do it. And now there's sirens but and, and a little finagle with the way this new camera fits on the bracket. But anyway, where was I? Okay, it offers great pen protection. Um, I think that it's just gorgeous how they package it. I mean, it's a simple box, so you could recycle it. So there's nothing, you know, if you don't like packaging, or I do, I, I repurpose boxes all the time. So I like that. And I like the idea that like for a graduation gift or something really special, this would be super. Um, and then uh, I like the size of this case. Let's see. Um, I wonder if I lingered long enough to show you, you know, of course, uh, it's wider and longer than a, a the Sinclair R, the rickshaw, and um, we can bring over the Galen 10 pen case. It's a little, the Galen's a little shorter. 
butt a little wider. If you can see that. Thickness is similar there. Well, the Galen is a little thinner. You know, it, it's a little bit slimmer profile. Oh, I have one that I forgot to show you. I picked this up yesterday. This actually is black. Um, it's a fossil. It was in the uh, thrift shop for just a couple dollars. And not only that, but I had uh, uh, a $5 coupon, so my whole purchase was less. But it, it accommodates my old phone, which I'm now using as a tablet, um, until it like completely kicks. It definitely didn't have the storage or the capacities I needed for my videos, but it's actually, it's holding a charge now that I took off a whole bunch of the power draining uh, aspects of the phone. So this, this was a neat case and I was testing it because I could put like all the kid pens in here, but I know I'm not, I'm getting really distracted. Oh dear. <laughs> I really probably should. But anyway, this just to show you, I guess that I'm rather obsessed with things that zip, that are leather, that hold things, and <laughs> I love containers of all kinds, but I realized, oh, I could do all kinds of neat things. But when I bought it, I thought it would hold a pocket hardcover notebook, and it didn't, so. Anyway, uh, it was almost, it was nothing. It didn't cost anything because of my $5 coupon, because that was the price that it was. Okay, um, so that's what I have on the pro side. Like, I, I think it's just beautiful, I love it, and, all of those things. Now, on the other side, on the, what I don't like as much, um, I don't like how narrow those four slots are on the right because that limits my um, options. Like, I like to have infinite uh, choices and I have never found any problem with uh, the rickshaw of just about any pen. I mean, it would have to be a weird pen not to fit in here. It would have to be like a seven inch long pen. And even then, like the other day, I figured out how to put in this Rotring art pen and get it to zip. Of course, it, it was a little bit of a trick and I don't know if I can do it again, but <laughs> at the time, yeah, as long as I made sure it wasn't over here on the side, so I was able to kind of slip that in and I was still able to zip it. That's a seven inch pen, you know, so that's pretty neat. Um, I don't think we could do that here, but maybe. Yeah, okay, maybe, yeah, we probably could because the whole idea is that's slim enough. But to have the girthy pens like uh, the Jinhao X159, you know, fit in here and the long six inch pen, no problem. Um, that's pretty neat. Uh, but we were supposed to be talking about <laughs> what I didn't like. <laughs> okay, so I don't like that I can't just put any pen anywhere. I just can't, it just won't work, but it's okay. It's not a deal breaker. It doesn't make me dislike the pen case. Um, the, the, one of the main cons, moving on to number two, is the cost. Because I went on today and it's near $100. It's like $99.50 or something like that. So it's so pricey. So, and it was 89 something when I got it, but it was 33% off, bringing it down into the realm that I was willing to, uh, you know, use my birthday money and, and purchase it. Um, so I said, uh, we already really talked about that, but I said it's not as flexible or versatile as, like, say, the Sinclair R or the pen, uh, the pen koozie or pen roll, where just about anything will fit, the girth-wise, anything will fit. Um, for some people, I listed this as a number four con, uh, some people leather is a deal breaker. So I understand that. That's not the case for me, but for some people it is. So then the final question usually is, um, with any pen or ink is would I repurchase this? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay a hundred dollars. <laughs> That's too much. Um, but if I could get it again, like I did for 64 or whatever it was, it was, it was, uh, it came down into the range where I was willing and, and able to get it. Um, so yes, I would, I would, I would, I, I hopefully won't have to because I'm not going to lose this, uh, knock on wood somewhere. Um, but for a gift or for, oh yeah, it's just gorgeous. Um, I'm not sorry, but I was hoping to be able to give you all of the details enough that if you were going to consider the purchase, you would know. And if there was something that that wouldn't work for you, um, I'm hope that this would show show you. I'm glad that the the Twisby goes in. 
You know, I wonder if there's even maybe a little bit of difference between these. Let's see, maybe not. I was kind of had that wonder because it felt like, no, I guess they're about, that. these four are pretty consistently the same. Let's see. Yeah, so, you know, it goes in there. It doesn't go all the way down. Okay. I think I've, <laughs> I think I've given you quite a bit here of information, but if you have any questions, I'd be happy to try to answer them or measure or weigh or do whatever um, uh, for you, uh, because I like to help people know whether something is, uh, you know, close to what, what you're looking for. And I am not sorry that I got this. Uh, please also, the other thing I wanted to ask was, I, I would welcome feedback on the sound because, uh, with and without the uh, microphone, I haven't been using this little microphone. This is the first time because I knew I was going to sit in the library further away from the camera where my face wasn't right next to, to it. So I am curious as to the sound, so if you'd like to let me know. And we'll, I'll see you in the comments. I hope this <laughs> will pass at least. It, it's not, um, it's color-wise, I'm not seeing that deep brown like I'd like to. It looks black. That's too bad. Okay, I'll see you on the next video, and uh, take care. Bye for now.